Oh god, I forgot about the cheeseburgers. Hey guys, um, I kind of want to show off my first semi-successful space plane. Um, due to some bad judgments, it actually has not made it into orbit. However, it made it past runway, which is something that I find very difficult. So I kind of wanted to show off the design. Um, so what I call the Pro 1 Mark 2. Um, it's prototype 1 Mark version 2. Um, the difference between the 1 and the 2 is actually the ability to get off into space. And that's these giant twin turbine engines. Um, a few things about it. It is... A uh, single pilot, right here is the capsule. It's got the SAS module directly behind it. A, um, I gave it a RCS fuel system, but there is no RCS on this one. Um, if this was successful, I was going to add one. We have our first wings. Underneath that, we have our sweep wings here in the back with the single engine. Um, styled kind of like the F-22, I put these V wing tips here. Now, the issue I was having with it is these giant, massive, freaking takeoff engines. They're so heavy that I kept actually just spinning out on the runway without actually getting anywhere. Um, so I've had to stabilize things, balance things, add a few extra wings, like you notice this wing on a wing. Um, that was added. Also, these wings seem to help out an extreme amount. Um, and then for vertical takeoff, I added these little boosters. Now, the thing I've already learned that you haven't seen yet is the fact that the little booster will have more life than the big booster. So what I'll have to do is preeminently turn off that before I run out of fuel and pretty much kill myself. So enough of talking. Let's turn this thing on. Let's give it a little bit of throttle before we turn her on. And just so you know, these engines sound amazing. Riding off to the sunset. Got my fingers crossed, hoping for some early lift off here. Come on, come on. Lift off. Let's put that gear up. All right. Now, if you can't tell, this is beyond terrifying because I am not. No, 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 no. Fuck me. Fuck. Fuck. I think I fucked it. Nope. It's still making it. Oh. Oh man, that was, my heart doesn't even beat anymore. That was amazing. Okay, so this thing is very, very, very difficult to fly. Um, words can't even describe how difficult this thing is to fly. So, um, <laughs> I don't feel like doing anything anymore. Let her run her course. Alright, unfortunately to get into space I'm going to have to correct altitude again. <sighs> Turning off SAS. Up, up, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Okay, there we go. A good vertical. I mean, it's definitely not the same as the other verticals, but it will do what she does. Um, I have to really monitor my fuel over here because the trick for this thing to work properly is these little guys have to be disabled before the rest of it. Um, they just don't use that much fuel. And I'm actually getting really paranoid because I don't know of a way of shutting them both off simultaneously, and there's two of them, and they're quite powerful, so if I turn one off, I'm paranoid she'll start spinning around. Oh, wow, you're about to really see me cry a little, because I don't know what to do. Um, I wish there was a way to kill both of them at the same time, and there probably is. I just don't know it. really good climb. Um, I might actually break the first atmosphere on this original fuel tank. Oh, such a shame. Um, this, this is really, like, I can't even express how scared I am. Like, I really don't want to screw this up. This is actually my first shuttle, and it's, well, first successful shuttle. There's a whole bunch of debris there to prove that this is not my very first shuttle. Um, and next, I'll still be within the atmospheric limits, which means I'm going to have to be quick on switching this thing out. Now, what I did last time is I wasn't paying much attention and I didn't bother killing these two. And they flew off and broke my actual wingtips. 
um, which took out my landing gears and everything else, and it was just bad. Now, what bothers me is the amount of fuel I have. I thought these were fuselages, and does this thing just burn through that much gasoline that quickly? I guess so. Okay, so... Oh, I figured out how to turn them off at the same time. All I can do is just release the throttle. Thank you, me. Okay, so... Um, let's go ahead and kill the throttle. And... There we go. Not exactly as I wanted, but I have to admit that was really, really cool. A shame that this thing burns through gas so fast that... That... Uh, it's over. A lot sooner than I thought it would be. Um... Well, guys, that's my first shuttle. Semi-effective. Um, fuel just seems to be an issue. Getting this thing into space, I just ran out of fuel. What I'm thinking about doing is, even though this looks so... Well, just looks correct and pleasing to the eyes, apparently it doesn't hold enough fuel for me. So I'm probably going to have to scrap the body out and try something else. Oh, so perfect. I'm very upset right now. I mean, to be honest, I'm actually really happy this this was, in my eyes, very, very successful. My goal is to get one of these things on the moon and then do a lunar, lunar whatever, takeoff. Um, I was actually kind of hoping I would somehow get into orbit and be able to use this thruster to get me all the way there until I have this nice little ladder here for getting on the planet, but it definitely isn't going to be happening. Um, I'm starting to descent. Alright, Malric, Kerman, salute you. Uh, especially because you aren't giving me your oh shit face, I'm about to die. I honestly wish I had given you a parachute or something. I have mild regrets on that. Look at these landing gears, they're so cool. So I can fix the fuselage issue. I might actually have a system to get into space. <sighs> Maybe I could switch off the engine to something that doesn't absorb so much of it. If that's the case. What an incredibly awesome spacecraft. It's a shame I have yet to perfect it. Um, I wish you could paint them too. Here we go. I'm in orbit. She's failing. Turn off TTS or SAS. Oh, and a handle so strange. Yeah, this this thing is sounding like a plane just crashing. Maybe yeah, because it is a plane just crashing. I'm surprised I don't have very much lift. I thought these sweet wings would do a better job giving me lift. Um, they're not. This is a stall into ocean. Malric has kind of caught on to the idea that he is completely fucked. Oh man, I really want to get the ship into space. It's only a matter of time, I suppose. Well, everyone, I thank you so much for watching. Um, you know, rest in peace, Malric. Hopefully I'll figure this one out, and your suppressor won't ever... Suppressor. <laughs> your suppressor won't ever have to deal with this again. Successor. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. You have a great day. Um, I'll provide links to download most likely in the comments. Maybe not. Uh, I'm in size of here it goes. Splash. Well, thanks again for watching. This is Ink Raven. Not Ink Raven. Ink Raven. Signing out. Oh. This was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction Aperture science We do what we must because we can For the good of all of us Except the ones who are dead But there's no sense crying over every mistake you 
just keep on trying till you run out of cake And the science gets done and you make a neat con For the people who are still alive I'm not even angry I'm being so sincere right now Even though you broke my heart and killed me Torn into pieces and threw every piece into a fire. As they burned, it hurt because I was so happy for you. Now these points of data make.